For those of you who are in high school or in college and are trying to figure out whether or not a neuroscience major is right for you, hopefully this video will give you some more clarity and maybe some tips and tricks uh, to help you to figure that out and to make the right decision for you. What is up fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to PsyD. This channel is dedicated to all things psychology, wellness, and graduate school. Today we are going to be talking about being a neuroscience major. Now if you don't know already, neuroscience is a study of biology behind thoughts, perceptions, emotions, motivations, decisions, and actions. Uh, one of the things for me as a neuroscience major that I learned a ton about was obviously the brain, uh, neurochemistry, neurobiology, different things, different neurotransmitters in the brain that were really important. Things like dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine, acetylcholine, all of those different things. If you are interested in neuropsychology, if you're looking to become a neuropsychologist and are wanting to pursue that profession, in order to become a neuropsychologist, you have to become a clinical psychologist first and then special in neuropsychology and if you're looking to do that then I think majoring in neuroscience may give you a little bit of a taste of what you might potentially learn in graduate school overall in general be having a neuroscience major in one school might be a little bit different than taking certain courses in another school overall overarching you know the neuroscience should be the same in all schools but there may be a lot of really key differences some majors, some neuroscience majors in one school may be really, really difficult. They have like really, really tough courses where you're having to take a ton of biochemistry or organic chemistry or whatever it is, right? And then some may actually be more psychology focused. So that's one thing that I would keep a lookout for in terms of when you are going through college and you're trying to figure out what neuroscience major to pick out of all the different schools that you're choosing from, make sure that you can go into the website and see the specific courses that that neuroscience major implies and and compare that to maybe even some clinical psychology programs and some of the courses that they teach right so if you take if you are declare yourself as a neuroscience major and you take all the different courses that are required to complete that major and a lot of those courses have a lot of overlap to the clinical psychology programs that you want to apply to that is a great huge plus for yourself here's the other thing that i think is really important is that you might be in a school already that does not have a neuroscience major and if so the question that i get a lot is what should you major in instead well there are several different options and honestly at the end of the day i think it's really up to you and what your preferences are and what your likes are right so neuroscience is probably going to be the closest to psychology so if you already know you want to be a clinical psychologist and you already know you want to be a neuropsychologist psychology is always going to be a safe major to fall back on if your school or your program does not have a neuroscience major. Uh, any other science related thing that is kind of close to psychology a little bit, and I know a lot of students who have majored in biology but minored in psychology, and that way they've been able to get some of the psychology courses that they need to take in order to apply to the programs. Just keep in mind that if you are a neuroscience major, there's probably not a whole lot of extra courses that you have to take in order to apply to graduate school. But if you major in something else, whether it's in like chemistry or biochemistry or biology, you are probably going to have to take a fair amount of psychology courses because those courses are not going to be built into the biology major. The nice thing about neuroscience is that there's a lot of psychology courses that are built into the major. For example, for me, majoring in neuroscience, I didn't really have to take extra psychology courses. And so when I applied to my, my graduate programs, my PsyDs, I was really good to go. I didn't have to take any other extra courses, right? So if you are going to major in something different, something that's different than psychology, keep in mind that you're probably going to have to take extra courses in order to apply to the schools that you wanna go into. I think being a neuroscience major helped me to understand the brain so much more it gave me more clarity more understanding of how our brain works and i was able to apply that a lot of ways to psychology and i was able to do a lot of really great research in undergrad for me that's my personal preference i will say that there were some courses that i took 
that were incredibly difficult, like really, really hard. Because some, some courses, you know, you're taking classes with med students, maybe some with engineering students, maybe some with, you know, other, you know, bio students and things like that. And so some of those science courses can be really, really difficult, can involve a whole lot of studying. But I will say, you know, I think it definitely helped me in preparation for graduate school. Uh, I will say it's not something that may look good on your GPA, you know, if, if you're taking a really hard science course and you can only get a B because it's so difficult, you know, yeah, I mean, your, your GPA might suffer a little bit. So that is something to keep in mind is that if you're gonna take harder science courses, the result might be a potentially a lower GPA unless you know, you're like super smart and everything is good for you. All right, so overall, those are some tips to help you guys to figure out what school to go to that has a neuroscience major. Those are some things to look out for if you decide to major in something else, if your school doesn't have a neuroscience major. I will say, if you do major in neuroscience, definitely try and get some research experience. The best way to get research experience is to just ask your professor that's teaching you a class. Most likely, they may not pay you, but most likely they have some work that they need help with. Every professor, every faculty member has work that they need help with and they would love to have an extra hand of someone to help them. And if you can ask just a professor if they can do certain things related to research, I'm sure they will provide you those opportunities. And later on, they'd probably write you a letter of recommendation when you apply to graduate school. And neuroscience research on your CV or on your resume does look really good for some of these clinical psychology programs, especially the PhD programs. So I would definitely look into that if you're looking to have a neuroscience major. People with neuroscience degrees end up going into becoming a physician, surgeon, psychiatrist, psychologist, neuroscientist, genetic counselor, substance abuse and behavioral disorder counselor, industrial organizational psychology, and even a college professor. So there are a number of different things that you can do. Now, all of those professions that I just mentioned require additional schooling. Keep in mind, after having a neuroscience major, uh, that it, you know, you're gonna have limited options in terms of what you can do in terms of after school. Now, there's still plenty of jobs available for people who are neuroscience majors and want to be done with school right after that point. There are a number of different things that you can do. A lot of people will go into becoming a laboratory technician, medical technician, pharmacy technician, pharmaceutical sales representative, a psychometrist, a science writer, a clinical research assistant, a patient care assistant, a health educator, an EEG technologist, a medical and healthcare manager, natural sciences major, advertising, business related things. There's actually a lot of businesses that are trying to include neuroscience departments and how that can really contribute to their overall business success. And so keep that in mind that it's not the end of the world if you don't use that degree to go into graduate school. If you don't use that degree to go into graduate school, there's still gonna be a ton of different options for you even after your bachelor's degree. If you guys have any other further questions about the neuroscience major, neuroscience degree, put it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.